know the VD brand for many, many years in aviation. The VD-5 is one of the most iconic airplanes possibly ever in the experimental movement. But now we're looking at something that's kind of the light and sport entry for Tim VD's company. Yes. This is the VD-17, is that correct, Tim? Yes. What can you tell me about this? Uh, give, me, give me the overview of the air. Originally, this was brought out as the VD-17 Nugget. It was uh, started in the early 2000s. And uh, we had several of them up flying. Uh, people liked them, liked the single seat aircraft, and uh, all the controls on it, very fun to fly. And uh, then we entered into the LSA market. And so we decided we wanted to take a single seat and put it in that market. So we put a little bit bigger wing on it, uh, changed the canopy around, did a couple little modifications to it. Otherwise, it's the same airplane. But uh, we did all that stuff just so we could meet the uh, call speeds and requirements for LSA. Okay. And uh, what engine are you using in this particular one? This particular one has the HKS 700. Okay. It's the 60 horse model. Uh, we are offering it with the Earth engine or anything in that uh, horsepower range between 50 and 60. Yeah, you're doing this as an experimental amateur built aircraft? Yes. Are you going to do uh, a fully built? Is that in the we've, planning? We've or? looked into the LSA and the SLSA. It's going to depend on market. Uh, if people are interested in it, we may do it. But uh, for right now, uh, the only thing we're looking into is doing a uh, builder assist. Uh, but uh, yeah. as far as full manufacturing, it'll depend on what uh, people are interested in. Sure, understood. So this is an experimental amateur built kit. And I uh, noticed somewhere on it, got quite a remarkable price. And uh, understand, viewers, that prices tend to change over time. You may see this video several years after this. Yeah. So just give us the number now, but please go visit the website that we'll give you later to get the latest information. But yeah. this is an inexpensive airplane, is that yes. correct? Yes, it is. Tell me the numbers. Uh, you're looking at about 26 grand, and that's firewall back. With that, you get your uh, fuselage comes completely pre-bonded with fixtures. Uh, the, the fuselage is made out of uh, half-inch honeycomb. Um, and it's all bonded together. So, uh, does, does the builder have to do the bonding? No. Okay. No, it comes like that uh, as soon as you buy the kit. Um, all of your honeycomb pieces, they come pre cut, things like that. Your verticals and your horizontals, those are uh, built on a fixture and bonded. So, you have very little things that you have to do. Pretty much the only thing you have to bond on is the wings, and most people come in and build those with us anyway. And where is the factory located? Where are you doing right now, this? we're out of Medina, Ohio. Okay. Uh, we are looking at setting up a facility somewhere here in Florida to do our builder assist program, as, as well as possibly other airplanes. Oh, okay. And uh, you're with the you're with the corporation that's doing this, right? Yes. Okay. And what, what's your role with it? Yeah. Uh, I'm an engineer. I answer to uh, Jim Beatty, the uh, the big guy, and uh, and I work with his sons as uh, running the company. So I get to uh, do a lot of design work, the uh, plans, as well as doing some of the specialty building and uh, finer things in it. Well, how long have you been doing that with Jim, uh, Jim and Crew? I'm just over two years now. All right. You enjoying it? I love it. Absolutely <laughs> love it. I got my dream job right out of college. Excellent. Good for you. Well, so in the Builder Assist program, uh, with the you're in the what's sometimes called the 51% rule, yes. which is not really a rule, but which means that the builder has yeah. to do 51% of the work. So when you bring them in and help them, are you just saying, do this, don't do that, or are you physically able to help much, or how's that we, work? We're actually able to physically help them as long as they're with, with us uh, while we do that. Uh, generally what we do is, uh, on our other aircraft, uh, we have them come in and do their wings, uh, particularly because we know how to do it on the fixtures. Uh, they come in, they spend a week with us, we show them how to bond it, uh, how to pressure test, and uh, all the other stuff, how to fit it, and then uh, then they go home. And, and you send them home with some more parts, and, and yeah. they go execute. Right? And they go do it. So, but uh, with the builder assist on this, it's going to be, we're, we're trying to get it in two weeks, and you can walk out the door with an airplane. So two weeks during the builder assist, and then beyond that then, how much time is an individual going to have to spend? I know that's difficult to say because it, it'll, people vary, but... What would you give us a, an estimate of time to build it? Um, the, uh, the airplane that's going to come out of the facility will be a completely built airplane, so it's ready to fly. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's two weeks. Yes, that is two weeks. That gets you done, basically. That's from, here, from the start to finish. Oh, wow. Okay. Flying airplane. So that's very brief then. So the Builder yes. Assist Center is an important keyly. Uh, very yes. important thing to do. Then. Yes, it definitely helps. The uh, the kit build time on this is around 200 hours, so it's not very difficult. We have uh, a lot of templates laid out, um, a lot of things that are put into the fuselage. Uh, we pre-drill uh, 
in some of the locations for parts to make it easier for them. So really all you got to do is make a custom part. Okay, so you're gonna, they're going to come in, they're going to do that, then they're going to go pick an engine and do some engine mount. Now that is that after the two weeks? No. Oh, okay, no. so you're doing all that right then and there. So they got to kind of pre-select the engine and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, and, and know what instruments they want yeah. to put in, and yeah, you're going to already got the engine, the engine mount laid out for this, so I mean it's it's welded up and ready to go. Uh, we'll have a hearth. Uh, if there's anything other than that, it might take a little bit more time. But uh, if it's something that we, well, you do, just plan that ahead and have yeah. it come in when you're ready. Yeah, we we do a lot to work with the builders, so cool, whatever we can do. Well, Tim, uh, thanks for talking to us. We've asked you a bunch of questions about the BD17. Uh, very modestly priced aircraft that a lot of people can afford, and you can get it done more quick. Yep. Where do we go to find even more information on the web? You can go to the website. It's uh, jimbeedy.com. Jimbeedy.com. Yep, and it's got uh, email up there, uh, phone number for the office, and uh, everything else that you need to know there. And you're going to be answering the phone when we call. Uh, not that one. <laughs> very but good. you can get to me. All right, we can find Tim Becker up at that BD Corp in Ohio. Uh, I haven't ever flown this airplane nor any of the BD airplanes. Hopefully we'll change that sometime, but we've done some coverage on you. You can find that. Lots of information about light sport aircraft, light kit aircraft on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us here at Seabrain.